todos, bienvenidos otra vez al Affordable Me Channel. Hi guys, welcome back to Affordable Me Channel. Hallo und willkommen zum Kanal Affordable Me 123. Ciao a tutti, bentornati su Affordable Me Channel. We're at Hotel Cancerio in Gran Canaria. So if you're interested, keep watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've literally just come back from a vacation and I stayed at the Hotel Casario in Gran Canaria. So of course, I had to plug you guys in with a hotel tour and review. This hotel is based in Playa del Ingles and it set us all back about £600 per person. But including the fact that this was in July, that's really good for pricing. When it comes to accessibility, I have to give this hotel a thumbs up. Yes, there were stairs throughout the hotel, but at the same time, lifts were also provided. Not gonna lie, the lifts were kind of slow, but this property is across eight floors, so I'm gonna give them a bit of leniency. <laughs> You walk into this hotel and as soon as you hit reception, all you think is modern. The reception is lovely and open spaced and the reception staff were absolutely amazing. Huge thank you to Peter who gave us a thorough induction. He was friendly, so funny, was always so helpful. And can I just say management, can we give him a promotion please? <laughs> A lot of things in this hotel definitely screams luxury and sometimes our finances doesn't exactly allow us to enjoy the finer things in life but at a good cost and if you stay here you can, you defo can. Like most hotels, the rooms are key card operated. I definitely recommend asking reception for another card just to power the electricity when you're not in the room. The bathroom was a really nice size and it also came with free amenities. So don't feel like you have to pack shower gel because they do provide it. I personally didn't find it to be amazing. I like my shower gel to really lather up. And I don't know what it was with the shower, but for some reason the floor was really wet quite easily. So I suggest just laying down some towels because no one wants to have an accident and healthcare is not free. Remember earlier I was talking about luxury? I think this whole sliding door thing was a part of that. I wasn't a huge fan though because sometimes it got stuck. Out of all the hotels I've stayed in, this one has to be my favourite, purely just based on the room size. Despite three of us sharing the room, there was enough space, enough wardrobe space and also a full length mirror which is every girl's dream. There's no need to pack a hairdryer because one's included. If you want a kettle, ask at reception and the room comes with a safe, but it's not free. The beds were really comfortable, including the sofa bed as well. And the room also comes with a fridge with a good amount of space for you to put your bottles in there because guys, hydration is key. As for the balcony, it was smaller than what I was used to, which might be to do with where we were in the hotel, but the view definitely compensated for that. Not only did I have a seafront view, but I also had a poolside view in room 419. And let's be honest, if you go on holiday and the view isn't amazing, is it even a holiday? Hotel Casario is definitely quality over quantity. This isn't the type of hotel where you would find kids splashing around and floaties in the pool. This is more of an adult holiday or a couple's holiday. If you're looking to just get a nice tan and chill for the whole holiday, you are going to love the sunbeds and lounges. 
Never quite understood why somebody would come to a hot country just to go in the sauna, but there was one and my dad absolutely loved it, as well as massages being provided, not included in the price, but a decent charge, as well as a gym. Again, don't know why somebody would want to work out on holiday, but that could just be my laziness speaking. They have your poolside bar and also an entertainment room which I thought was so cool. As far as the food goes, unfortunately I feel like this was the one thing that let the hotel down. I didn't enjoy the food, I didn't feel like there was a lot of variety but then again that could just be a personal choice. I'm about to take you to my favourite part of the hotel. Welcome to the rooftop. Guys, I promise you the views here are absolutely phenomenal. I've never seen something so beautiful. If you're a photographer, you are going to love this space. Not only do you get the sea, you also get the, I don't know if it was mountains or more like the desert. I don't even know, but it just looks hella beautiful. I can tell you that. So just like downstairs, you also get your sun loungers as well as your sun beds and it's just a really nice chilled space. You have showers provided as well as a bar and some seating under shade if it gets a bit too hot up there. You have your views all around the rooftop as well as a jacuzzi. So if you want to have some, you know, romantic time, then you can do that and you can also see the Playa del Inglis beach not too far. If you want to have an even tan, but at the same time have amazing views, then you can come up here to the dedicated nudity area and <laughs> get naked. The hotel entertainment was really good as well. Thank you to Andrea and Moro for providing such good entertainment. They did aqua gym, they did sangria night, they did morning yoga. It was absolutely fantastic. I rate this hotel a solid 9. If it wasn't for the food that let it down and if they were to improve it, they would get a 10. I just want to thank all the staff who really made this stay. This hotel screams luxury and I would definitely come again.